Hello everyone. In this session, let us solve a numerical example from Q-learning, which comes under reinforcement learning. Here, the problem that is selected is a maze problem. So here, the agent has to reach to the goal state. So G is the goal state. Okay. So if he is reaching to this goal state, he will receive a reward of 100. So the aim is he can start randomly from anywhere and he has to see that he is receiving a maximum reward. Right. And one such control policy is this one. So let us see how to get this optimal control policy with the help of a numerical example. Okay, so before to that, let us see what is meant by Q-learning. So in the Q-learning, it has to acquire optimal control strategies from the delayed rewards. Even when the agent has no prior knowledge of the effects of the, the effects of its actions on the environment. This is the basic definition that we have seen in the earlier session, right? In the reinforcement learning, the agent has no idea of the environment. And if he performs a particular action, whether he will receive a reward or a penalty, he is not at all aware. Entirely, he has to do it on a trial and error basis. So now, an optimal control strategy has to be developed based on the actions that he is performing. So that is what meant by the Q learning. So here you can see we have the agent and he will be performing an action on this environment. And whenever he performs this action, he either he will receive a reward. So this reward can be a positive one or it can be a negative one. Stated mathematically, here you can see the agent is in state S0 and he will be performing an action A0 and receives an immediate reward R0. And this action will lead to a, a future state S1, future action A1, and a future reward R1. So like that, whenever he performs a particular action, he will be changing to the another state and he'll perform, he will select the next action and the next reward. So this reward can be a positive one or a negative one. And finally, the goal is learn to choose actions which will maximize the rewards. So the reward starting with R0, which is the current reward, plus the future reward, gamma into R1, where gamma is ranging between 0 to 1. So this is similar to the learning rate what we have seen. And here this gamma is used as a penalty factor. So here you can see gamma, gamma square. Suppose if the reward is a negative reward, so then the cumulative reward will be reducing exponentially. So so the agent has to be very careful that he is not receiving the negative reward. Always he will receive a positive reward. So here we have the Q-learning algorithm, so which we will be tracing step by step. So in the initial step, what we have to do is for each state S and action A, we will be taking a table. Okay, so that we will be calling as a Q matrix. And that has to be initialized to zero depending upon the problem that is given. So the number of rows and columns that should be there in the matrix is dependent on the example that we are taking. And then observe the current state. And then repeatedly, you have to perform these steps. What are those? So you have to select an action, execute it, and then receive the reward. And then observe the new state. And based on this new state, update the two entry table. So the Q matrix table, whatever is there, that has to be updated with the help of this formula. And then the new state, whatever we are having. So that new state will become the current state. And with the help of this new state, again, iteratively, we have to perform all these. So now let us see how to work with this algorithm with the help of a numerical example. So this is the example that is given. So here you can see a maze. Okay, so where you have totally six blocks and in those six blocks, this if you just number this, uh, let us number these blocks as one. Let us number this. Let us number this as one. 
one, then this is three, three, five, six. So totally six blocks are there. So you need a Q matrix of size six by six. And also we will be formulating a reward matrix of six by six. In the reward matrix, so wherever there is no direct path, for example, if you take one, two, three, there is no direct path. You have to pass through two, through two. So that we that is not a direct path. So one, two, three, we will be marking as minus one. And in all other cases, we will be marking the reward that is there. So for example, if you see one, two, two, the reward is zero. And again, from two to one also, the reward is zero. And two to three, the reward is 100. And from two to five, the reward is zero. And five to two, the reward is zero. And six to three, the reward is 100. And here, one more thing I would like to add on is, so here you can see that three is the goal state. So here you can see there is a self loop with a, a zero reward. The reason is, this is an absorbing state. From here, we are not going to move anywhere else. So here, the task is learned. This is an absorption stage or absorbing state. So it will not have any further rewards. So we will, we should, whenever you are giving a self loop to this, we should not give any um, reward to this. Always the reward will be zero. So in other blocks, you can give the reward as per your choice. But be careful when you are formulating a new example, this value should not be more than zero. And it should not be a non zero. Value. Okay, so from this, let us see how to formulate the reward matrix. So here I have done the reward matrix for you. Okay, so from 2 to 3, the reward is 100. And from 6 to 3 also, the reward is 100. Okay, and you can see zeros also. From 1 to 2, it is 0. From 1 to 4, it is 0. And in all other cases, it is minus 1 because there is no direct one. Okay, so this is how you need to formulate the reward matrix. And similarly, as per the algorithm, we have to formulate the Q matrix also, in which initially we will be initializing all S comma A to zero. So these are the set of states and these are the set of actions. The rows are the set of states. Columns, let us take it as set of actions. So all are initialized to zeros. So now we have to select a state and an action. And based on that, we need to move on to the next state. So which one we have to choose as the beginning, okay? Okay, so before going to that, let us see how to obtain an optimal policy. Optimal policy is indicated with pi star of S, which is equals to R max A, which is which stands for action. R of S comma A plus gamma multiplied with V star of Do of S comma A. So this is the transition when you are performing an action in this particular state, you will be moving to the next state and you will have the next action also, right? So which in short can be written as R max of A, Q of S comma A. So this whole thing we are, this whole thing we are taking it as Q of S comma A. And to obtain this formula, so in the algorithm we have this step. So to update this, we use the formula R of S comma A plus gamma max A dash Q of Do of S comma A comma A dash. You will be moving on to a new, new state and you will perform a new action receiving the new reward. Okay. So for your convenience, I am just giving the reward matrix here. So now, here if you see, 3 is our goal state. So from 3, we cannot move anywhere. So Q of 3 comma 3 is 0. So we are randomly, you can select any state of your choice. Okay, so I am starting with 2. Okay, so in 2, so that is, let us take the second row. So in second row, what are the non-negative values that we have? So we have 2, 1, 2, 3, and 2, 5, right? So 2, 1 is 0. 2, 1 is 0. 2, 3 is 100. 2, 5 is 0. So these values we need to first find out. And based on that, we start solving the further ones. Okay, so since I see a maximum value in 2, 3, I start with this value. You can start with any state randomly. You can start with any row of your choice. Okay, so I'm starting with Q of 2, 3. Okay, so which is R of S, A. So here, 
the reward of two comma three is hundred plus gamma value, which is a which is taken as a value between zero to nine. Here it is taken as zero point nine for this problem. Okay, and max of q of do s comma a comma a dash. So here from three. Okay, so three is our new state. So let us go to three and let us see what are the non-negative values. So we have a non-negative only in the comma three. So we will take this. Okay, and the q value for this from the q matrix is a zero. So let us substitute that. Hundred plus zero point nine. Q of three comma three value is zero. This I am taking from the Q matrix, not from the reward matrix. Once I will go back and show you the Q matrix. So here the Q matrix is initially zero for all the values. So here I am taking the value three comma three. So this Q value I have substituted. Okay. So reward you have to take from the reward matrix. Reward of two comma three we have taken, and Q of three comma three we have taken. This you should be clear. Then it is very easy to solve this problem. Okay, so now, uh, let, since I am seeing one more maximum value in six, let the next row I am sel selecting. This is the next iteration. So one is done. So I am next. I am randomly selecting six. So here Q of six comma three is again R of S comma A, which is R of six comma three. The reward value is hundred plus zero point nine into max of Q of three comma three. And if you solve this, you are obtaining a value of hundred comma hundred. Let us update our Q matrix now. So here you can see I have updated the Q matrix. And let us proceed further. So let us do more and more iterations in order to update the other values. So next, I have selected randomly the first row. So in the first row, the non-zero values are in 1, 2, and 1, 4. So first I am solving for 1, 2. OK. So the value that we, that we have obtained is 90. And 1 to whenever you are selecting, the next state is always based on the action that you are taking. So action is 2. This is S comma A, right? The first value is S. The second one is A. So whenever you are performing the action A, so this 2 is selected as the next state. So with the 2, what are the possible transitions that we are seeing? So from 2, where can I move? I can move on to 2, 1, I can move on to 2, 3, I can move on to 2, 5. So these are the possibilities. So here 2, 3, 2, 5, I forgot to add on to 1. So we just add that also. 2, 1, 2 of 2, 1 also to be added, which is anyhow 0. 2, 1 is Q value of 2, 1 is 0. Q value of 2, 3 is 100. Q value of 2, 5 is 0. So it is 100, comma 0, comma 0. So maximum value of this is 100. 100 multiplied by 0 0.9 gives us a 90. Okay, so this has to be again updated in the Q matrix. Where you have to update, you have to update here in 1, 2. So 1, 2 will become 19. Next, for the next iteration, you have to take these updated values. So now the control policy is up, uh, updated step by step, iteratively. Again, we are finding 2, 1. The value that we got is 81, let us update this to. So here in Q1, you have to update the value to 81. So similarly, all other values you can just find out. Um, I have just listed out. You can work on this on your own. And the final Q table that is updated also I'm giving for your reference. So this is the final updated Q table that we are obtaining. And based on this, you have to formulate Q of S comma value. So, so this is the initial one that is given, right? So initially the values are zero. So now we have updated. So the agent has updated all its values. So these are the updated values. Out of this, what we have to select? We have seen that it should be an R max. I'll just show you that. Slide. Five star of S is R max of A, Q of S comma A. So wherever these Q values are maximum, you know how to use the R match, right? So maximum value of the available ones we have to pick on. Okay. So based on that, yes, from here. So now in this particular block, if you see, so here you have a value of 81 comma 90. Only the incoming arrows I'm considering. Okay, incoming or leaving. So 
among 81, 72, 90 and 81, the maximum is 90. So max value we have to consider, so 90. So here in this particular one, the maximum value is 100. So here in this, uh, in 4, the maximum value is 81. So here in 5, sorry, yeah, here in 5, the maximum value is 90. So that we are picking. In 6, the maximum value is 100. So that we are picking. And the optimal control policy that we can give is, uh, always our aim is move towards the goal. So either the agent can start with 1. Okay, so 1, start with 1, move to 2, and then to 3. Or he can start with 4, and then move from 4 to 5, and then to 6. Okay, so this is one control policy that we can do, one optimal policy, which is giving accumulate to some of the rewards, maximum cumulative to some of the rewards. So if you see 1 to 2, 2 to 3, what is the cumulative sum? 90 plus 100. It is 190. Similarly, if you see the next one, what is the cumulative sum that you are obtaining? So when you are moving from 4 to 5, so again it is 90 plus 100. 190 you are obtaining. So in this way, always the agent has to select a maximum cumulative reward. So he has to obtain his steps such that he is taking less number of steps and that too he has to obtain maximum reward. So this is how the queue learning will work. Hope you followed. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, do like it, share it with your friends. And if you need any modifications or if you need any other topics, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.